Hey guys, how's it going? And uh, oh my god, don't be scared kids, it's a video. It's been a while, and uh, two things I wanted to do in this video. One is just to say hi, how's it going? Um, my video upload frequency is pretty much a annual tradition at this point, but finally I have something to, uh, to talk about, kind of, sort of, and that is about cathode ray tubes. So I have a few tubes laying around here in the disaster zone that is the game room, uh, which is pretty much par for the course at this point. But I don't know, I thought I'd just do a video kind of going over some of the CRTs I have. And uh, yeah, so right now I have <laughs> the NEC XM29 Plus. We are watching Ranma one half. Run my one half, which is one of my favorite animes. This is on VHS, no less. Uh, the first movie, I think. Running the VCR, with a bunch of other junk. This is the kind of main retro setup. And um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say about this other than here's the model number NXA X729 Plus. It's multi sync monitor, so that means I think it could do VGA. Uh, up to 1024 by 768. So everything from 240p to VGA is uh, good on this monitor, which is uh, pretty nice. So yeah, this first monitor. Uh, I don't know whether I should go to the left or the right. I think I go left. Oh yeah, so I got a PC hooked up for this. Um, sometimes I watch uh, when I want to watch content that's in 4.3, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll do it on the CRT. It just, uh, just seems right. Or like some old school PC games that uh, have a native 4.3 and don't do 16.9. So I've got the PC right there. And occasionally I will use this, which is the uh, Sony Trintron, uh 210GS. So Great for Dreamcast too. It's VGA only, I think, and it's not hooked up obviously, because uh, I'm gonna be showing you a bunch of um, CRTs which are not hooked up. Because, yeah, what a hassle! <laughs> I just quite literally, I just don't have the space, and uh, I only keep a few of these hooked up at any one time because of uh, wiring and all this power and whatever. So, there's that one. There's a slew of PlayStation controllers. I really like these. Uh, I really like these white Dual Shocks. I don't know what it is. Uh, that's that's a Dual Shock Two. Dual Shock Three. Anyway, uh, moving along. Okay. So let's begin with this. This thing. This thing, which. You know, it's a 13 inch, 13 inch uh, BVM. This is a BVM 1310 or 13, wait, I don't remember. 13, 1310. Okay. BVM 1310. And despite its size, this is probably the heaviest, heaviest monitor that I have. And it is insane how heavy this is given that it's only 13 inches. So but I guess the depth kind of gives it away. I don't know why it's so why it's so heavy. And uh, it's not like I know a ton about CRTs, but Jesus, this thing is heavier than I would like. So uh, it doesn't get a ton of use. But uh, I bought this because I thought, generally speaking, that BVMs were better than PVMs, which is uh, definitely not true now that I know a little better, but I got this kind of on a whim off eBay. It was like hundred bucks with shipping, and uh, you know it's great, just a little too heavy for my taste. But uh, yeah, there's just like other random stuff around here. Here's my Game Boy player, recently reacquired, and. PlayStation Classic, 
$20. $20 brand new. I, uh, not big on the emulation, but, um, I haven't opened this yet. Or not big on emulation in general, but, um, I don't know. At the very least, it comes with two controllers. 20 bucks for two kind of generic controllers. I guess that's a deal. Not sure. And Neo Geo AES just hanging out. And, uh, onto my next monitor. Um, this is nine inches, I think. Wait, hold on. Uh, this is another BVM. ACD98. Wait, actually, the, I think that's the model number of the power supply. Ugh. Okay, BVM D9, D9H5U. Okay. So, let's see, let me put that back on. <laughs> no. Oops. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. I got this because I don't know why. Just kind of on a whim. I wanted a smaller um, CRT just so that I could put it on the desk and maybe have something to play on the desk. And I was actually thinking about using this for uh, Game Boy Advance. So it's convenient that that's there. And um, the other thing too is this uh, this control panel on the bottom. So as far as I know, uh, you can use this as a kind of a control box for other BVMs, which have external control boxes, which may or may not be included when you when you get them. So. I don't know. That's just uh, another feature of this 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 tiny little CRT, and right underneath it, an eBay purchase. Clearly, that's convenient. Fourteen M two M two U. Um, why did I get this? <laughs> I don't know. I think I was going through a phase where I wanted. I had the 20 inches for quite some time and I wanted something a little bit smaller to kind of put on my desk for uh, when I'm sitting at my PC, which I tend to do way too much of sitting at my PC, I mean. So, uh, yeah, these are all right. I think I like the 20 inches for gaming in general, but uh, if nothing else, um, backups, backups. Because I've already had one, two, I've had one CRT fail on me so far. So yeah, that's another full, uh, 14 MTU. Swinging along the back here. Uh, this is much smaller uh, CRT. Here's my Model 2 Genesis, just hanging out. Uh, 1340. So this is probably 12 inches, maybe. 12 incher. I'm not really sure, but um, one thing that I kind of like is some people don't like is that it has its own built-in power cord. Because all of these newer ones have just these power sockets, and some people don't like the built-in power cord, but I. I like the built-in power cord because I lose these power cords all the goddamn time. So yeah, it's nice that it's uh, just kind of connected there. Okay, so moving on over here. So this PS2 is running on this Magnavox. Um, probably the most generic CRT I have, composite only. Looks okay. Sounds really good, so got that going for it. And I actually did not seek this out. I got this as part of a lot uh, with a few other CRTs, which I will be introducing shortly. But uh, yeah, I guess the one redeeming quality about this one is that I think the CRTs are the um, speakers are pretty decent. So got that going for it. Let's watch some Ibarra. <laughs> anyway, uh, smattering of controllers. 
So these two down here, these are actually the same model. These are 20 M two U's or something like that. And this is the medical version, which comes in this kind of off-white, off-whitish type of color. So that, and there's that. And um, sadly, this one has some geometry issues to to work with, but uh, still works all right. It's just that uh, it's got these like kind of stripes that go across the top, and I don't know how to fix those. So, I mean, you can't really notice it when it, uh, I'm playing, but um, yeah. I don't know if I should get rid of this or not, but it's uh, just kind of sitting here, hanging out. So, uh, yeah, now let's go over here, across all these other CRTs, and now we've got this set of three over here. So this whole kind of section I got here, these are what I consider my heavy hitters. So if I look them up right now, they would probably be the most expensive and the most hard to find. And um, so any CX-29 Plus I've never ever seen in the wild. Um, but anyway, these other three, so my favorites, uh, Toshiba 20AF44, which has the most amazing, amazing picture. Uh, it's quite, uh, quite unbelievable, to be honest. Um, we are running, I think this is PC Engine, Image Byte. Yeah. Scan lines, scan lines, anybody? No. Okay. So, we got that going. And right next to it, Dreamcast Totoro. And one of my favorite Dreamcast games, Power Stone. Power Stone 2, more precisely. And okay, so this is Toshiba 20AF44. And I really, really want to get a larger version of this because the picture on this is crazy good. Even more than my other CRTs. Kind of crazy. I don't know what else to say about that other than it's crazy. <laughs> so this is a, uh, as you see, a multi-format uh, PVM. This is 20L5. So I talked a little bit about that Magnavox that I um, that I got oh, kind of sitting over there. So the story behind that is. Uh, I went on Craigslist and what was I looking for? I've been on the lookout for a widescreen CRT. So I was looking for Craigslist and I saw this ad. It said classic televisions. I'm like, well, yes, I am a connoisseur of classic televisions. So I, and I had a picture of that, that Magnavox, which I just showed you. And I thought like, oh great, it's just going to be a pile of junk. So. Um, I saw Magnavox, however, it had two other pictures. One was of this one, PVM 20L5, which I did not know the model numbers because it just had, uh, just had pictures of a front. <laughs> and, um, I thought like, eh, I'll take a chance. And I went over to pick them up. I got the Magnavox. I got this one. And then I got this other one which is also a multi-format PVM. And this, this is probably, this, this is insane. So if you don't know what this is, this is a BVM, uh, B20F1U uh, or 1UF or something like that. I know it has the B because it's multi-format. So this, as you know, it's probably, I don't know, I played the lottery. I played the Craigslist lottery and I uh, got out pretty well. So in addition to that kind of CRT only Magnavox I showed you a minute ago, I got this, a 20 BVM, 20, wait, BVM B 20 F1U and the PVM 20 L5 for free, which is uh, kind of wild now that I think about it. So yeah, Craigslist finds 
Um, some people have a love-hate relationship with Craigslist. I've had pretty decent luck, uh, in my area at least. But I know that's, uh, like, these. So I found this one just on the curb. On someone who's throwing it away. So that was free. That was free. That was free. And this, sadly, I got off eBay. However, this was way back in 2014 or something like that. So I got this for, I think, less, a little less than $200, and that included shipping, which is an insane price. And I took the risk of having it shipped, and it worked out. So, ah, oh, Ranma. Oh, Ranma. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> this is definitely high up on the, uh, the fan service, if you will. So anyway, uh, uh, that's all my CRTs I got, so anyway guys, I'll try to see if I could uh, upload again sooner than a year from now. <laughs> we shall see, I make no promises. Um, so yeah guys, uh, that's all I got for now, so thanks for watching and um, see you guys out there.